Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. We are at the Vault of Arriving, so we've completed the game. And yet there's still this one vault left. It's the top of the mountain. Uh, let's go take a look. Oh, we did this one already? Is this the vault from the plains area? How is this possible? Oh, I see. So the plains area. That is why I got that chest already. Okay. So we did. We did all the vaults. That's it. Cool. I really want to get up there. I don't think we can, though. No, there doesn't appear to be a way. These walls were all too high. Okay. Let's see, 27 residents. We are missing a building. I think I do have one under construction, though. Location 6 out of 5. What? Song fragment. Uh, locations 3 out of 2? Is that just backwards? No, it's not, because 19 out of 20 at, at the top. Okay. In the valley, again, four out of three. Must be like a bonus. Oh, the secret location. That's it. Same thing there. This one I feel like I'm missing... No, three out of two. Three out of three. Uh, other than a few buildings and finishing up the stones and some of these... Uh, this game is pretty much complete. Alright, let's go up here and do a little work on my last perfect world seed. It looks like there's only five. I haven't yet found uh, another alchemy table. The achievement is for five world seeds, so I think that may be it. sad to think this is my last episode. I'm thinking about doing maybe like a live stream where you guys help me like just make random worlds. I have a ton of uh, essence and I could just save scrub all day. Oh. 
we'll see. I think the next game I'm going to play is the Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. I mentioned this in an earlier episode that I love Story of Seasons. I usually get them uh, day one that they drop. But this time around, I didn't. And then I was glad I didn't because there was a lot of uh, negative feedback when it first came out. A lot of systems were still clunky. And I guess they have fixed a lot of that since. And now they're adding a DLC to it. So the DLC comes out Monday on the 29th. Sorry, I do have a little bit of a cold and I just shot two episodes back to back. So I might be losing my voice. But yeah, so I'd like to get a head start on Story of Seasons because you have to have a lot of the town stuff complete before you can unlock the DLC. I think that'll be fun to play. been kind of lucky the last like month and a half or so getting like new releases there was the graveyard keeper uh dlc that came out as luck would have it announced a couple weeks after i started playing it for the first time and then we have grow it was great moon glow bay it was a lot of fun albeit very buggy and so if i do have any downtime Coming up, I, uh, I will get into playing Stardew Valley. I have hundreds of hours in Stardew Valley, so to me it's just more like a filler game if I just don't have something more relevant to shoot on the channel, but I know a lot of people love Stardew Valley, including me. I love it. It's a great game. That's why I have hundreds of hours in it. And since we're getting into December here, that means January is just around the corner, and the new Pokemon Legends Arceus is coming out. I plan on playing that game. If you want to watch me play it on the channel, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I do love me some Pokemon games. I did not pick up uh, Brilliant Diamond. Brilliant Diamond and Sparkling Pearl? Something like that. No, that just sounds weird. It's definitely Brilliant Diamond, though. Diamond is... Because I originally... I played the original games. I played Diamond back in the day. I'm also a very casual Pokemon player. I don't min-max. The extent of what I know about Pokemon, as far as battling, is types versus types. Generally, I like to play with Electric, Fire... Dark and Ghost are my favorite types. And then, like, the occasional uh, random Pokemon that will help me beat the next gym leader. I know there are a lot of Poketubers out there that people generally watch. And they're, like, pro Pokemon players. Completely understandable. I'd still like to play it on stream. Or on, on my channel. Alright, what am I missing here? Get to high ground. I was like, what's floating over there? It's just a flying bug. Okay, we got one that way. And... I see over there. Just need a sing. Back 
Back up top. Oh, always a stone. Stone wall to break. Looks like two. Nice. We just started the last town, too. Uh, there are a bunch of things I can finish, but... I think I'm gonna retire this as the last episode. It's only been 10 minutes. Mostly me talking about the future of this channel. If there's any, like, life sim games that you think are interesting that are coming up, I have like 40 of them on my Steam wish list. But if there's any that you want to see me play, also feel free to leave that in the comments below. And I just want to thank you guys for the huge response I've gotten on this series. You guys really love Bro. I really like the game. It's super cute. Um, and actually a lot of fun. I was really nervous at first about the town building. <clears throat> because I'm not good at... Uh, management games, I'm terrible at them. Like, Oxygen not included, I wanted to love that game so much. I love watching other people play it. Absolutely miserable at it. Um, so I got nervous at that, and honestly, the town building became one of the more fun aspects to me. I actually have a sheet of paper where I've written down all, like, everyone in my town, what jobs they want, balancing how many houses I have. Oh, hey, look, we got more. Anyway, balancing all the houses I have versus all the job slots I have, trying to get those complete, decorating all the houses. Like, I started doing that. Um, so I didn't expect to. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the world building at the top, nurturing new seeds, the perfect, the perfect world seeds were a lot of fun to do. Um, but like making them yourself and then like you got the chore of having to to water them and take care of them constantly and it gets very monotonous It's fun to do when you're watching something, but Otherwise Let's get into this copper top. I can't believe you did it Actually, I can believe you did it because you're a very resourceful young person I can't believe you did it The ever tree restored the song once again filling the air Ilaria more resplendent than ever before and of course, the withering back in its place. Bravo, child. Isn't it lovely when things go according to plan? I'd say we've all earned ourselves a nice cup of tea. And an extra large slice of cake to go with it. Scrumptious. And after that? Uh, I don't know. What do we do now? I suppose it's up to the apprentice. You know, I'm not sure how much longer we'll be able to get away with calling you that, apprentice. Surely a little longer at least, for old time's sake? Surely, anyway. Apprentice, Stella, what happens next is up to you. Yay! And there we have it. Take a look at all these. Nice. And I think that'll do it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And if I don't shoot any more episodes in this series, uh, then I'll see you in the next series. Thank you guys.